and it's done by. Hey, hey, hey. There we go. Fireworks. So that's the button. Okay. So I'm gonna push the button. Three, two, one. Whee! I sound like I'm going down the roller coaster, right? Whee! And there's a roller coaster, here, guys, at New York, New York. It starts somewhere over there, and they have an elevation. And they do a drop. Whee! And then they show up here, I think. And then they proceed to the main area. Oh, there it is. Ooh, there you go. Oh, I gotta go. I catch it, I hope I caught that one. Price for a roller coaster hover around $20 for single rides. They also offer ride all day packages for around $25 to $30. For M Life Platinum members, this is one of the Platinum Experience options that provides one complimentary ride for you and your guest. I want to get out and then get prepared for dinner. I think I'm going to go to uh, try Carbone at the Aria. It's like an Italian restaurant, I think. All right, let's get out. Instructions for this jacuzzi clearly state, do not step out or else you'll slip and fall. You must saddle your way out for safety. Do not step on this. You gotta kind of have to sit, sit and like, like you gotta mount off the horse or whatever, right? Oh, crap. <laughs> All right, I'll keep this in. It's, remember, it's one take. All right, let's try this again. Okay. I I've never ridden a horse, so. That's my excuse for still slipping. <laughs> but I feel like this is what you gotta do, right? Saddle it. <sighs> okay. <sighs> One take. Hey, hey, hey. All right. I did the, uh, the jacuzzi thing. Uh, I just exited from here, from New York, New York. I'm gonna go, I gotta walk to Aria. Go down the escalators, hey guys. Uh... It might be a surprise, but it's a very convenient five to seven minute walk from New York, New York to Aria through the uh, Park MGM. So you gotta go in here and I think there's another uh, escalator going out to the restaurant. Okay, there's the escalators over there. Do understand that the reason I include these walk-up clips to the restaurant is because there are viewers out there who've never been here who might be interested. Restaurants, cool. Oh, there's a lot of people. Hopefully, I don't have to wait. Luckily, I did make a Check reservation. Is Carbone Christopher Walken's restaurant? I try to make Conan O'Brien proud, and oh, I would do his impression right now if I didn't have the mask on. Welcome to my restaurant. No, that's not it. All right. It is not Mr. Walken's restaurant, but I'll provide a follow-up insert later. There you go. One take. And as soon as you enter, cool. Little little waiting area before you get seated. I made it to my table. Um, yeah, their wine list is on like an iPad or something like that. But you know me, I don't drink wine. I don't know how to drink wine. So, uh, this is the main dining area with the grand chandelier as its centerpiece. Room offers a classy 1930s yet modern glam chic vibe with semi-private booths docked around the perimeter. Let's check out the other dining area. Beautiful bar situated on this side of the dining area. It offers a slightly more casual feel, yet it's still glam, it's still chic, it's still classy, it still works. Cool little decor. So, yeah, I ordered the, uh, it's called the Octopus Pizza Yolo, something like that. <laughs> Excuse me, bad pronunciation, right? Uh, and for the main course, I'm ordering veal parmesan, which, uh, I don't remember ever eating veal, and if I have or not, I don't remember, but I saw this on the menu online, I'm like, alright, let's go check it out. Side note, please excuse the sound issues. The restaurant was lively with loud music and conversation, so it took a little juggling to edit this out. Oh wow, cool, thank you. Thank you.
This is a pickled cauliflower uh, jar denera. And on this side, uh, it's a spicy salami. And right up there is just a couple of pieces of cheese. Okay. Oh, it feels, feels cool. And this is Italian grandma's bread basket with assortment of bread in there. Take a look. It's still warm. There are great party favors, and I guess there are great dining favors. All these assortments here would pair well with uh, wine or beer. I'm gonna use my finger. Okay. There's a salami. Oh my goodness. It has, a, it has like a spicy little note at the end. Actually, it's making my cheeks, cheeks, uh, my facial cheeks kind of sweat up a little bit. All right, let's try this one. Oh, that's crisp. It's like vinegary. It kind of reminds me of uh, a certain Korean uh, dish. It has a Korean pickling uh, taste. Let's take a bite of this. This is like garlic bread. Oh, this is good. You can tell a lot from the bread, right? Like if it's gonna be good or not. This is a good meal. But it just dawned on me. I shouldn't get full off this because I got some uh, dishes coming up. Just smell this. Yeah, it's, it's octopus. It smells a hint of octopus. Um, this is interesting. Maybe I'm tripping here, or maybe I miss Korean food or something, because I haven't had Korean food in a while. Remember I mentioned this tastes like Korean kimchi, or a certain type of kimchi? Do note, there are kimchi that aren't red or spicy. This comes out, this reminds me of a Korean dish also. Uh, it's called ojingo pokum. It's like, translation is octopus stir fry. And yeah, the Korean version is spicier, a little bit sweeter, a little bit more intense than this. But like the onions here, the way it's situated, it's, it has a slight kick to it, and with the uh, octopus, it tastes like ojingo pokum. Ojingo pokum. All right, y'all. I saved the most juiciest or succulent. It looks like a shrimp, huh? All right, let's see what the. I'm curious how what it sounds like when you chew on octopus. Almost silent. Oh yeah, it has a little charred texture uh, and taste. Kind of snaps on the outside, but the inside is uh, real, like it kind of breaks down. Like a good hot dog, you know how it snaps? Nice. This is the uh, veal parmesan. I wasn't exactly sure what it was gonna be, but it's basically like a country fried steak, I think. And then, kind of, or like in Korean, they call this a tonkatsu. But I, yeah, you just gnaw on the bone. Some greens and cheese on top. Yeah, it's, it's smell it. You ready? Yeah, it smells like Parmesan. Oh right, y'all, let me get into this. All right. So I guess that's the pounded veal in there, and then. Yeah, it's piping hot. It's good. Boom. Oh, I figured it out. So the veal tastes like beef, turkey, chicken, pork combination. Subtle beef flavor, and it has a consistency. If you would mix all those up, that's what it tastes like. All right, y'all. You want to hear me gnaw on this? I guess this is a, a, a veal rib of some sort. All right, let's go. Tastes like half beef, half turkey leg. It's soft. My first instinct was it kind of tastes like uh, turkey almost. All right, that's my take. I'm gonna finish this off. All right, y'all. Oh, 
I did it. Yeah, I did it. You know, I'm not a, I don't go out Italian food, uh, uh, fancy Italian food restaurant type of guy, but I highly recommend Carbone. Do it. And that's my take. All right. Some complimentary cookies. Uh, still a little tight. Oh, chocolate on top. Oh, it's like the Italian flag, right? <laughs> I figured that out real quick, huh? It's like a miniature cake. Mm. Which is a delicious cookie. So the whole, uh, it was 109.47 with tax, not including tip. Um, Carbone, I would do it. I think they have a whole bunch of whiskeys out here. Yep. Okay. By the way, the service was incredible. And the food portions were generous, which is very rare for a restaurant like this. All right, time to go. There are numerous noticeable art pieces here at Carbon. One of them, this, done by Robert De Niro Sr. Yes, his father. Like, well, hey, what's the significance of a Christopher Walken? And he tells me that all these were drawn by an artist, and I'm presuming that's the artist right there. And he is a big fan of Christopher Walken. And manager says before Carbone opened up here at uh, Aria, he said uh, that uh, they already had these paintings uh, roaming around across uh, Aria. And he said that, okay, you know, it was kind of cool to keep one of his paintings and have a little theme on it. All right, okay, I'm not a ticket it right now, but I think you get my point. All right, so, kaboom, done, conclude. Uh, I'm gonna go to my next step. Uh, I'm probably gonna roam over to Bellagio to play some games. All right, so I made it to the casino here. Now, I started this video because uh, I asked for this and some water on two occasions and one time they brought this the second time they brought this Now I want to do a water taste test for you guys since I do all kind of reviews I want to do a review here. This is the water here Yeah Okay, this is standard uh, M life okay. I want to do this test here and this is the, uh, the Fiji water. And comment below if you think there's a taste difference. All right, there is a significant difference there. Okay, a huge significant difference. So I had this one first and this one just came. And um, the big difference is this one is a lot more cold. It's colder. <laughs> All right. No, th this is slightly better tasting. But water is water. This is M Life water. All right, y'all. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I'm playing this game again. It's about 7:40 in the morning. I haven't gone to sleep yet. I have to check out pretty soon. I mean, I'm checking out today. But it's just playing a little game. Carbone yesterday, and then I just went to Bellagio after that, and I was just there all night. 
and then one thing led to another and here I am back at uh, New York, New York, but uh, it's almost 8 o'clock. Milk. Let's go, milk. Milk, milk, milk. I still don't understand what, like, how this works. Like the mailbox. I don't know. Can't figure it out. Well, I don't even try to bother to figure it out. I just push the buttons and then just let it roll. I don't know what's going on here. Invaders attack from the planet Mona! I'm still here. Come on, look up, it says look up. Don't look down, look up. Oh, giant symbols. I heard people don't like giant symbols. Oh, that one was, I think, what you want, but... Attack of the giant it. symbols! Seven free plays, okay. Yeah, people don't like giant symbols for whatever reason. I don't know. Well, it's not as fun as like the, uh, the cows and stuff. Cause you don't get to moo a lot, you know. Moo, moo. I guess we need that dog. Cause I don't know what all these, I don't know. Alright. Alright, something. Come on. Come on. Whoa. So that's it, huh? Alright. Alright. It's crazy how time warps when you're in Vegas. I had dinner at Carbone at 9 p.m. Walked out, walked over to Bellagio. One thing led to another. Here I am, back at New York, New York. It's 8 a.m. I better go to sleep. Good night, y'all. Thank you for watching.